Hello, I'm Aner Kushnir, VP of Technology at AlgoSec, and today I am going to demonstrate the AlgoSec and Cisco ACI integration. Before we get going, just a few words on AlgoSec. Security today is all about driving your business. Our unique approach to security policy management helps make some of the world's largest and most complex organizations more agile, more secure, and more compliant. Through a single pane of glass, AlgoSec provides holistic visibility across the entire network security infrastructure, including business applications and their connectivity flows, on-premise and across SDN and private or public cloud architectures, and supporting all industry-leading security devices. With AlgoSec, you can proactively analyze risk from the business perspective, intelligently automate time-consuming security changes, and enhance them with business context, and also tie vulnerabilities and cyber threats to critical business processes, all with zero touch and seamlessly orchestrated across any heterogeneous environment. AlgoSec seamlessly integrates with Cisco ACI to enhance security policy visibility and deliver change, risk, and compliance management for next generation data centers. AlgoSec incorporates the Cisco APIC configurations, the applications, contracts, filters, and DPGs with the underlying firewall configurations of Cisco's as well as other vendors' security devices, both inside the ACI fabric and outside, to provide full end-to-end -end security visibility. In addition, AlgoSec greatly enhances Cisco ACI's automation capabilities and extends policy change automation to all other firewalls and routers, both inside and outside the data center. AlgoSec also enforces compliance through every security policy change to ensure that the organization is agile, continuously compliant, and secure. Now let's see the integration in action. Okay, so this is the AlgoSec Firewall Analyzer. I have defined here a device group called Data Center 1, consisting of the Cisco ACI itself, as well as the underlying firewalls in the fabric. These can be Cisco firewalls or from other vendors. We can also see here a network mapper presentation of these firewalls and the connectivity between them based on the routing information. We can also see the networks that these firewalls protect. This network map model will also serve as the basis for traffic simulation and further analysis we will shortly see. Okay, so we talked about visibility before. Now let's see how easy it is to find all the rules in all the policies related to some network we're interested in. I'll just click on the Policy tab and search for the 100 network, for example. Now I can see that this network appears both in the Cisco ACI contracts under this uh, EPG inside and also in uh, many rules within one of the underlying firewalls. Switching to the Changes tab, we can see information about changes to configuration either to the ACI itself, the contracts and EPGs, or to the underlying firewalls uh, in this data center. This will allow us to make sure everything stays in sync and there are no out-of-band changes. Now let's have a look at risk and compliance. So looking at the latest report on the Cisco ACI, I can now see some information about risks. This uh, analysis is based on a risk profile, in this case the out-of-the-box uh, built-in uh, risk profile based on industry best practices but it can also be customized according to your own uh, needs and policy. So in this case, we can see here a risk about FTP entering the network. Drilling down into it will reveal some more information about why this is considered risky and some more details about the exact contracts that are causing this risk to be raised. We also have a regulatory compliance tab where we can see some pre-filled compliance reports of all the main uh, regulatory compliance standards from the different industries. So for example, the PCI compliance report will hold a template, a pre-filled report with the different PCI requirements and their status for this uh, ACI configuration. This can save many, many hours of preparation for compliance audits. Now let's talk about change automation. One of the great values of ACI is the ability to quickly deploy new applications or extend existing ones, or easily move payloads around, etc. But what about the firewalls? 
both inside and outside the ACI fabric. Let's see how Algosec can close the loop and automate that part too. So this is Fireflow, our change automation piece. I will now create a new change request to open a new connectivity flow, from this source to some destination with uh, some services. I'm doing this manually from the UI, but it can also be done via APIs automatically. So the change can be triggered by orchestration systems such as Cloud Center or others. So let's create the change request. And now we are on to the next step where Fireflow will automatically detect which firewalls are in path and are relevant and need to be changed. It is using the network map we saw before to decide which uh, firewalls are on the way. In this case, two firewalls are blocking the traffic. So we'll continue, confirm the devices. And next, Fireflow will run a risk check, a what-if analysis providing information about which risks will be raised if this uh, request will indeed be approved and implemented. In this case, we can see some risk is involved uh, around Microsoft services, but uh, we will approve it anyway. Now Fileflow will decide how to implement this uh, request. So it will decide which objects need to be created, uh, which rules need to be added or updated, and even create, in the case of Cisco ASAs, for example, uh, create a CLI to be pushed to the device. And if I click on the Implement on Device button, it will actually push the changes to the Cisco. And of course, in a similar way for other firewall vendors. Note that Fireflow implements the changes on the firewalls by adding or updating specific rules. It does not override the entire policy. So it's suitable for use with brownfield environments as well. And it is able to detect and merge out-of-band changes. Now this entire process that I just presented step by step can be fully automatic with zero touch. All the steps along the way will still be executed, but uh, Fireflow will proceed uh, automatically. But it's also possible to define exceptions. So for example, if risks are detected, you want someone to manually approve the request and then continue with the automatic execution. And so this way you can uh, implement full automation, but still do it responsibly and allow human intervention only when needed. Thank you for watching this demo.